Hey, how you doing? Blake here. We're doing a tier list of all the places you can buy stuff to resell online. I love doing that. It's one of the ways I make some money. So we're going to be ranking stuff from S tier to F tier. S tier is the best. It's a video game reference. F tier is the worst. It's a, I don't know, high school reference. We've got our, our places over here. Uh, thrift stores, retail arbitrage places, and just other ways to go about this. Uh, and of course, all of these places are not everywhere in the country. So if you want me to do this again, or if you feel slighted, or if you really want to be heard, go in the comments below and say what you would do, how you would rank these. Of course, this list is subjective. It's my opinion. We've talked about this enough. Let's get going. Okay, where should I? I'll put myself right here, just for right here for now. Let's begin. So we'll start at the top where I have most of the thrift stores and then go down to the bottom. Uh, Goodwill. It's a pretty common place to be buying stuff to resell. Uh, but the issue with Goodwill is that they sell a lot of their own stuff on shopgoodwill.com. So it's pretty cherry picked. I know not every Goodwill is like that. Uh, but for me in my area, I would say Goodwills are pretty firmly in C tier. Not terrible, uh, not great. Sometimes I can find some things like collectibles there, or uh, they're probably more clothing items I found there. But in terms of like the things that I like to sell, video games, books, electronics, it is a uh, it's pretty pretty stuck in C tier. Next off is the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is a thrift store, uh, not in profit. In my area, I would say Salvation Army is a lot better than Goodwill. Uh, it's there are some stores that do cherry pick and sell their own stuff. Uh, if you go on Amazon, you're going to see a lot of Salvation Army selling their own stuff. But for me, I find way better stuff uh, at Salvation Army a year ago, two years ago. I may have said A tier, but now we're going somewhere in the middle, A or B tier. Uh, what do you think? I would love to hear your opinion below. Savers. Savers is a thrift store. It's also Value Village. I have not been to a Savers in so long, and when I went there, it was just garbage, complete garbage. I'm gonna say C or D tier. We'll put this, uh, we'll put this right here. Uh, I've I've seen some good finds on social media from people who go to Savers, but for me, it's just um, that's what I'm that's what I'm putting it there. And if you don't like it, you can fight me. Saint Vincent de Paul. It's a, a religious thrift store, smaller. Not as many stores as Goodwill or Salvation Army. So the St. Vincent de Paul's in my area, uh, in, in Michigan, I'm pretty sure there was like an insurance fraud issue. <laughs> they like burnt down one of their thrift stores and it was all, it was fraudulent. Uh, and so you can't be A or B tier with that. I've really never had any good luck. Um, the things are always pretty expensive there. So we're going to say you're with savers in the C or D tier. We'll, we'll say C tier uh, because... I have found some good stuff there. I found some good books, some good clothing, but a lot of the stuff there is just junk. They don't really test to see if it's been donated. Value World is what's up next. Value World is uh, is going to be like, a, I don't know if they're around the whole country there in Michigan. Um, some people swear by it. They have a lot of clothing there. Their toys, their electronics, their collectibles are all really, really dirty and gross. Uh, so I'll say C, B tier for that, just because I, I've seen some people have some good finds. I found some really cool vintage t-shirts there, or vintage jerseys. I found um, a game-worn, uh, it was some guy who played for the Jets uh, jersey there in Michigan. He, he went to college at Michigan, and he moved back here, I guess, and he donated all his Jets gear there, and I bought it for dirt cheap. And I also bought... Like 150 1990 NBA hoops wax packs there for um, like 20 bucks. So we'll say C tier, B tier. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. The next one, this is not, it's just a generic any local thrift store. It doesn't have to be anybody's name. It can be the PTO thrift store. It can be uh, the Lions Club thrift store. It can be your parents run a thrift store. And we're going to put this bad boy in G A tier. It gets A tier. Um, I know they're not all that way, but when I have huge home runs, it's always at those hole-in-the-wall, good-for-nothing thrift stores. The same with, like, any independent convenience store. Not on the list, but when these places are independently run, they don't know as much, I guess. They don't have as much of an incentive as Goodwill or Salvation Army does to cherry-pick. And you can really find some good stuff there. I like that. 
Next up is Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for the huge manatees for all your aquarium mammal needs. Uh, they're going to sell more home good type stuff. I have found some good new and package uh, like home hardware, but a lot of it is just not within the realm of what most resellers do. So we're going to say D tier. I think if you're the average reseller, you're not going to find much good stuff at, at uh, Restore. You, I mean, there, there are going to be some wins, but in terms of like, I have two hours to source. Should I go to a local hole in the wall thrift store? Or should I go to Restore? I would say go to one of these, um, but by, by no means, you know, nothing so far has been E tier or F tier. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Now we are getting into the uh, the retail arbitrage options. We have Walmart right there. Walmart is great for resale. They've got clearance stuff. You can sell their brands. You can sell the in-demand stuff. You can sell their stuff that just drops there. Sports cards, uh, you know, video games, vinyl, any kind of that. You can, you can buy PS5s on walmart.com probably and make a hundred bucks doing that. So I'm gonna say Walmart is A or B tier. The only reason that I'm not putting it higher uh, is because we're not going to have any S tier, I don't think. Maybe we are. I don't know. Yeah, we, we are. We are, actually. We are going to have an S tier now that I look at the rest of the list. Walmart is A, B tier uh, only because it's so hit or miss. Like, let's say you're doing retail arbitrage, like Equate brand products. You can easily walk out of that store with $1,000 profit. It's not hard to do at all. But you also might, you know, someone could have beat there to it, and, and you're going to have nothing. So because it's so hit or miss, Walmart is the same as Salvation Army. A or B tier. Oh, I forgot one thrift store. Deseret Industries, the Mormons, right? That's who does that. You got the little beehive based in Utah. Utah is the beehive state. I have never been to a Deseret Industries. Never. I've never gone out that far west. But I do see people like um, like Carrie or like Tim. Uh, Carrie is uh, American Arbitrage and Tim is uh, Osborne Thrift. They're cool people. I'm sorry I didn't say your name right if I didn't get it. But they get they make so much freaking money at these places. I will say that that is A tier. Deseret Industries is firmly in A tier. And it's not S tier because I haven't been there. So I can't confirm. Target. My grandpa used to call it Target. I feel like everyone called it Target. And it made me so mad because I was like, it's not Target. It's, it's Target. You're not funny. I don't know, maybe I thought it was fancy. I guess Target does kind of brand themselves as being a little bit fancier. Target is going to be B or C tier. Why do I put it there? Because a lot of the stuff, um, they do have some good collectibles, they do have some good sports cards, but they're a bit more expensive than Walmart, uh, and they are going to limit you on the things you buy. You can say what you want about if you like it or not. Personally, I don't care if they're going to limit your sports cards. I just go there to buy for my own personal use. But from a resale perspective, you can't deny that uh, putting these limits in there is going to hurt you. So they're B tier or C tier. Next up is Meyer. Meyer is a Midwestern regional chain based in Michigan. I like Meyer a lot. I do all my grocery shopping there because it's way cheaper uh, on some things. Some some like meats and, and vegetables are really cheap there because they get them locally. But uh, in terms of retail arbitrage, Meyer, you are E tier. Boo. Uh, the only time I have made money at Meyer reselling things they have there is when they have clearance stuff. Their sports cards are like 40% above MSRP if that really exists. Uh, they don't really have great deals. Um, sometimes around the holidays, you can get like Meyer bucks or whatever they call their rebate currency. Uh, and you can make money that way on in-demand toys. But the way I sell and the way most people sell, Meyer is going to be E tier. Sorry, Meyer, I love you. I, I go there to shop, but um, not not so good for making the moolah. Kroger, another uh, Midwestern. I guess they're in Texas. They're they're all over the place. Uh, Kroger. Who owns Kroger? They also own I think Safeway, and there's some grocery store chain in Texas. It's like some dude's name. It's like it's not P T Barnum, but it's like someone's name, uh, and I forget what it is. Uh, Kroger. I have made good money at Kroger selling holiday candy. Uh, we're gonna say C, B tier, just because it is really hit or miss, and it's food, so not everyone can resell food. It really only works for like Amazon FBA retail arbitrage. When when it works, it works, but it isn't always, so we're gonna say it's the same as like a little bit below Walmart, uh, Value World, or Target, same kind of area. Trader Joe's is next. 
Trader Joe's is a re not regional, it's a national food chain. Uh, small footprint, a lot of um, their own private label stuff. When you can find this stuff, it does sell very well on Amazon because people who like it, if they can't go to the store, they're going to have to buy it online. However, however, I have heard of people getting in trouble for selling it on Amazon, uh, and it oftentimes the listings do get taken down. So because of those technicalities, uh, and because oftentimes the price does tank, because when everyone, you know, people, there are people who do this full time, and so like an example is the the, the dried mango leather, Trader Joe's dried mango leather. Uh, sometimes you can buy it for like four bucks in store. Sometimes it sells for twelve bucks. But once that price gets higher and higher and enough people are making money off it, um, the supply becomes saturated online and it just it goes down to losing money, basically. So we're going to say, again, we'll say CD tier uh, just because we haven't had as many in that region. And I don't want to fill up the whole list because they're, uh, well, I'll move myself up here now. So we'll have more space to... Uh, to play around with. TJ Maxx is next. TJ Maxx is a big retail arbitrage spot. You're gonna see collectibles there. You're gonna see a lot of clothing there. Sometimes weird food options, sometimes toys, sometimes just like home decor. Uh, we'll say TJ Maxx. I think it's D tier, okay? You're gonna hate me. I have rarely, rarely found anything valuable at TJ Maxx. We'll, we'll even say T Trader Joe's is, is, is a BC. And then TJ Maxx is firmly in D. Just because there's, I would rather go to Trader Joe's or Kroger or Target. Why not even say, I might even say D E tier. And I know you're saying like, well, in my TJ Maxx, I make a billion dollars a day. And like, okay, then you make a video. <laughs> For me, it's not good. Marshalls is very similar to TJ Maxx. Uh, the company who owns Marshalls also owns TJ Maxx. They also own Sierra Trading Post. And they might own one more. I've had a lot better luck with Marshalls than I have TJ Maxx. I've I've done really well with shoes from Marshalls. Uh, they don't have men's shoes at TJ Maxx around here. They do have men's shoes at Marshalls, and that's what I sell it because I don't want to be that guy going to a Marshalls buying 80 pairs of women's shoes and getting side-eyed by the cashier. I don't need that stress in my life. The Marshalls is C tier, D tier. Dollar General, getting over to the dollar stores. I love dollar stores. I'll say Dollar General is, uh, we'll say C tier, D tier, just because um, for me, I don't ever do the penny shopping. If you do that, probably it's B tier. Those are usually expired goods, but you can get away with that on a lot of marketplaces. Uh, I prefer Dollar Tree, which is next. We'll say Dollar Tree is C, C tier, B tier over Dollar General. Dollar Tree, though, with their recent price increase, uh, really the only thing that I've seen all year that I can resell from Dollar Tree is Valentine's Day candy, Haribo gummies, uh, and uh, DVDs, obviously. So a, a lot of like the toys, I have not seen any good Hot Wheels, any good toys, any good books for a few months. That's why I haven't made very many Dollar Tree videos recently. So it used to be, I'd say it used to be B tier. Uh, the DVDs are definitely like S tier. If I had to do only like products, I would say DVDs are S tier, but because it's gated for a lot of people, uh, because it's just kind of trickier. I mean, I, I have that Dollar Tree DVD list. Subscribe to it. It's only 30 bucks a month. If you have that list, S tier, baby. At, above S tier. S plus tier. Uh, but if you're just going in trying to do like eBay flips, we're going to say... We'll say B tier. We'll put it right here just to have more space. Dollar Tree is B tier, can be S tier, uh, but, but at the same time, the way it's been with the price increases, if you don't have DVDs, if you can't do seasonal candy, if there's no branded toys, it could be like D tier. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty flexible. Now we are on to the uh, the different ones: Facebook Marketplace, Garage Sales, and Auctions. I should also put Amazon Liquidation Pallets. Um. Can I just do this? Uh, okay. We'll put a big A for Amazon liquidation pallets. Capital A. AMZ. We're going to do that too because I forgot to add that to the list. It's a bonus! Aren't you lucky? You made it this far in the video. You get a bonus. If you like bonus tips like that, subscribe! <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and stick around because you're going to be seeing a lot more of this face. Amazon liquidation pallets. Uh, we'll we'll do that. I, I honestly, A tier, S tier. I love doing Amazon liquidation pallets. I was on a freaking show doing Amazon liquidation pallets. 
Extreme Unboxing. You can watch it on the A&E app. We did nine episodes. Didn't get picked up. <laughs> watch it. Um, I like it. Really hit or miss. If you don't know what you're doing, you can, you can lose some money. But that volatility, that risk and reward, that's what ooh, is so tantalizing. Uh, definitely Amazon is S tier. Oh, shoot. I forgot pawn shops, too. Um, pawn. We'll do pawn shops, too. And we'll make this a different color. What color is good for pawn shops? Pawn shops are kind of gross. I would say pawn shops are kind of like that. This kind of like pea brown color. I've been in a pawn shop. They're nasty. Pawn shops uh, are going to be, for me, for me, C tier, D tier. Not only because we have space there, but because I don't make money at pawn shops. I don't know if Michigan is just cheap. The one time... I, I sourced pawn shops. I bought a whole bunch of DVD VCR recorder combos for like 50 bucks a piece that I thought would sell for like 250. Uh, and they just took so long to sell because I, I was, I don't know, I, around here, I can do thrift stores. I know like Eric, the college picker. I know like uh, Phoenix resales does pawn shops. I know that uh, they're in Kentucky. Young couple. He was in the military. She's a little blonde girl. Cheap, fine gold mines. They do pawn shops and they do very well. Um, so maybe if you guys want to do a tier list video, it'd be S tier for you. But for me, I'm going to say C, D tier. Prove me wrong. <laughs> uh, what I do love, though, more my version of pawn shops, what I do really well on, is auctions. In Michigan, we have way more local auction houses that do well than pawn shops. I'm going to say auctions are A tier, S tier. I've gotten burned on some auctions. Uh, one time I bought a bunch of VHS tapes that I thought were great. I made a video about them and I did sell some of them, but like 90% of these VHS tapes were moldy and I couldn't clean them. And so I had to throw them away. I didn't want to get mold lung or some other crazy disease. So again, it is hit or miss, high risk, high reward. I love it. I personally, I support liquid bidding up there in Flint. Represent. Um, buy from them. I like the company a lot. Uh, there's other ones. In, in, in Michigan, it's uh, RepoCast is good. You just type in local auctions on Google. You'll find a bunch. Down to the final two. We've got Facebook Marketplace and Garage Sales, as they say in England. They don't call them that. They call them boat sales in England. But they do say Garage instead of garage, which maybe they're right. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, same, you know, in the same B tier, C tier, I found some good deals, but there's just some dingbats on there who don't know how to speak English. Uh, and that makes it difficult. Not like in a, if you don't speak English, God of my country way, like they just can't, they just can't communicate. They don't know how to speak, period. They don't know how to communicate with verbal language. Period. <laughs> Nothing against my uh, my Latino friends who, who want to speak to me in Espanol. I'm talking about the dummies who don't know how to communicate in any language. Garage sales. We're going to say garage sales, the final one. That's definitely A tier. The only reason it isn't S tier is because uh, I don't go to a lot of garage sales around here. Um, you know what? That's I should. That's not fair. Garage sales are A tier. They're at, we'll say they're S tier, right up there with Amazon liquidation pallets, because you can find such good deals. And this summer, I'm gonna do more garage sale videos. Why? Because I'm trying to do videos every single day, and content is hard to produce when you're on that kind of schedule, baby. How am I gonna film it? Because I'm uncomfortable bringing a GoPro on someone's property. Spy cam. Help me find a spy cam. Link below to a spy cam. Subscribe if you want to see me spy on people unsuspectingly and make money off it on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know below. If you don't like it, you're just wrong. Oh, yeah, one more thing. And the secret message for today, so far we've had D-O-N-T. So today's secret message is the letter B. Write down the letter B.